Greetings, my name is Tanya McMahon and I'm gathered here today at the Capitol Building in Wisconsin with the Wisdom Group. We're here to discuss a topic near and dear to the hearts of more than 2,800 men and women incarcerated in prisons across the state of Wisconsin. The topic is old law parole. Prior to January 1st, 2000, men and women convicted of crimes were given the opportunity after 25% of their time had been served to be released on parole. However, much of that has changed and today, people who are given longer sentences are now being required to sit most of that time up until their mandatory release date. There are 2,887 inmates in Wisconsin who are legally eligible for parole under old law. Those inmates cost the state of Wisconsin $96 million a year. Wow. It is completely, completely within the authority of the governor, the secretary of corrections, and the parole commission to fix this broken system. We are here today to talk to the attorney general, the secretary of corrections, and other statewide leaders because the governor will not talk to us. The governor has the power to reform this ineffective, inefficient, and cruel system. Many of those incarcerated have made necessary changes by educating themselves and completing programs, etc., and they continue to meet the criteria hand over fist, but it is never enough. And when I heard, I heard um, mention of programs before, that is one of the tools that they use to hang, up, or hang over these inmates' heads. However, such as in my husband's case, he's completed the program. So they find other ways to kind of move the finish line. Once you've done what you're supposed to do, they'll find other ways to keep you in there. In 15 years, he has not so much as even had an argument with someone in there, let alone be involved in any kind of violent incident. And like the other 420 eligible inmates, he resides in a minimum security prison, which means that he is low risk even by their standards. How is his release going to impose an unreasonable risk to the public? I don't understand that at all. Hi, my name is Andrea Brown. I'm here today at the Capitol just coming from a press conference, the 11 by 15 Wisdom Conference. Um, I have a loved one that's been incarcerated for 27 years. He was eligible for parole after 13 years and six months. He's been up for parole 11 times, only for them to tell him that he has not served sufficient amount of time and that he remains a risk to society. He works outside the fence on a farm and he goes out every day unsupervised, but he still remains a risk to society. Hi, my name is Beverly Walker and my husband Baron Walker has been incarcerated for over 18 and a half years. Baron was convicted of a party to a crime, a robbery, where no one got hurt, but he's been eligible for parole for the last four and a half years. Unfortunately, he hasn't been released yet. My husband has been incarcerated for 23 years and he is ready to come home. He is doing everything that he can and doing the right things so that he can become a productive member of society. So we're here urging the Department of Correction today to give some of these old law inmates an opportunity to come out and be amongst society to give back in any way that they can. Today in Wisconsin, there is no meaningful consideration for people who are legally eligible for parole. Everyone in the system made decisions on the assumption that parole was an integral part of that system. That assumption is being ignored. Secretary Wall, you've only been in your current position for less than three years. You weren't even in Wisconsin 20 years ago when many of these men and women were sentenced. You may not know or even care about the injustice that's going on inside your prisons. 
But you must know about the $96 million a year that's being spent every year to keep these old law inmates in prison. And you must know from a report by your own department that Tony Strickler just mentioned that if that $96 million were invested in treatment alternatives and diversion programs, it would save the state of Wisconsin nearly $200 million. That's data, data that this council must care about. 